Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, I am Daniela. You can call me Danny. Enough with the hand movements. In today's video, I'm gonna be going to the Latin billboards in Miami. Obviously, that's where I live. And I had a really early morning because I had work at six. I am so scared to see the time right now. Not bad. It's 3 o'clock, have to be there like no later than 5.15, which means I have to leave at 4.45, which gives me 1 hour and 45 minutes to get out of this house. I actually have last year's Latin billboards on my channel. I vlogged it. You can go check out the last year version of me, the blonde version of me, and the new, newer to YouTube version of me on that video. So I'll definitely have that carded and linked down below. But if you are excited to watch this video, go ahead and give it a like. I'm going to go shower and then I will... I will check back in. Also, I don't know where this energy came from. I haven't had it all day, so that's weird. I think it's the camera. Okay, bye. I'm out of the shower. I wasted a solid 15 minutes looking for the dress I had planned to wear, but I found it and it's 3.30, so. It's a gloomy day. It's been a gloomy week, but I have to give you guys better lighting, so. But this is what we are working with. Dreads. I don't know whether to brush them because they already have a nice shape. I just need to make... Yeah, it's good. <laughs> okay. This is exactly why I don't brush my hair, by the way, if you were wondering. <laughs> For styling my hair, the products that I'm going to be using is the usual IGK Good Behavior. And then for hairspray, the Kristen S one. While I do my hair, I'm going to be watching... Ariana Grande on the Kelly Clarkson show. I usually don't watch interviews of hers like this, like, you know? But something about this interview made me want to watch it, so I'm watching it. It's pretty random, but before this, I watched the carpool karaoke with the Cinderella cast. So I finished the left side really quickly. Um, I kind of sprayed, not kind of, I sprayed each curl as I did it because I really want it to last. It's not that it doesn't last. I sometimes just don't do enough for it to last. So today my goal is for it to last the whole night. I'm gonna do this side on camera. Okay! So I finished with my hair. Obviously now I don't have any time whatsoever. We're not surprised. We're just not, but at least but our at least hair our looks hair. better. I was like spraying it in between every curl, but I'm gonna spray it overall because this one is the workable hairspray, which means one layer is like, you know, like not the best, strongest hold, but two layers would give you like perfect hairspray. I always get conflicted to use like natural lighting or this lighting. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. So in one of my more recent videos, I talked all about this foundation and the story about it. How do they do that? I gave in because they said that it would just be $5 worth of shipping. When I did that, they charged me. But I ended up receiving the brush. This is the box that it came with. I've always wanted like a really good foundation brush that looked like this. I've always wanted like the Morphe one, but each one is like $16 and don't even, don't even ask. Like this was $45. So we're going to see if it's even worth $45 and how well it works with the foundation. To prep for the skin, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Quick Fix Prep Priming Spray. It smells like the beach. Okay, I'm a fan of this brush. I understand the hype. I really do. So that is just the foundation. I love it. Um, why am I talking like I have all the time of day? Why? 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 Stop, bitch. You don't have time. Wow. What is in this brush? This is like minimal effort. And usually to blend out this contour, I gotta put more pressure. So this is crazy shit right now. Right now, I'm looking at the Latin Billboard uh, Instagram page to just hype myself up, see who's gonna be there, because they usually confirm people as the days go by, like closer to the event. Holy this brush is crazy. Um, okay, so let's check out the performers to see who we're gonna be seeing. We're gonna have to talk about this because I, I saw this already. I saw that Camila was going, let me scroll down to the post. At this pace, I'm never gonna finish. Where is this? Oh, Benito. 
So basically, I had seen that post that said Camila was a performer, but the thing with award shows and especially COVID, performer, they can be performing, but like live from somewhere else, like literally their home. So I, I wanted to like not get my hopes up on that because that would be the person that I would be most excited to see. I don't know, I just have it out for Camila recently. I've always been her fan, like she's really awesome and great but like just lately i've just been obsessed with everything she does so i wanted to believe that it was going to be filmed somewhere else or wasn't going to happen because i didn't want to be disappointed um if the case is that she's actually performing here which makes sense because she lives here and you know she grew up here i hope that it's true <laughs> because i would literally be so happy me like out of breath was supposed to leave seven minutes ago obviously not happening let's continue seeing the performers okay the next is juanes okay i've so i've seen him royce always performs the same thing i don't mean to be like a negative like all these people are cool like they're talented but i'm waiting to be like wow oh my gosh rake rake <laughs> They're all right. Anna Barbara, don't know who she is. Her face scares me. Oh yes, I do know who she is. That's very exciting. Every time he comes to an award show, he literally went to the last one last year. I get really excited. That's super exciting. I love every time that she goes and she performs. Exciting. Not super exciting, but don't know who Yuri is. Yuri, ni idea. Um, I'm who am I to critique? Like, I can't sing for like my life, <laughs> literally. But I, I don't think he's like that great of a performer. His music's great and stuff, but like, let's see what's next. If that's true, he's always there. Don't know who she is. I like her hair though. Mm, have no idea. I love how I haven't even been looking at myself while I do my makeup. Okay, that, the only ones that he goes to is the Grammys, exclusive as He's amazing. I just wish he would come. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup off camera because at this pace, I will never leave the house. It's currently 4.18 and I decided to not put on lashes and not do eyeshadow and just put on mascara. Something has to happen with the eyes. We just don't know it yet. I'm just gonna put on my dress. So I just got the dress on. Obviously, something's missing on the eyes. I think I'm going to do eyeliner. Also, the earrings. Gold or silver? So better, better. Do you have a gold necklace? Yes. So he doesn't think that I don't love him. What do we think? You guys haven't seen this one? He asks why I take it off, and I tell him when I want to wear gold, I can't wear yours. So he got me this one in gold. I love you. See, I cannot have the strength to do my hair like that. Why? It's so lazy and low-key curly hair on me. So now the question is eyeliner or no eyeliner? Yes. It's like 5.20, so we're running five minutes late. Obviously, they said that if we don't get there before 5.15, they're not going to let us in. That probably means 5.30. That's what we're hoping. So we made it. Turns out we're not super late because 5.15 is the check-in time. So this is the line we're in. Check-in is right at that tent right there. And then this is the red carpet entrance, check-in table. All those boxes are rain ponchos. And behind us, the line is pretty long. It goes a long way. So I think we got here at a perfect time. And it's very humid. The girls aren't, aren't happy about it. Update. We just got seated. It's been a while. It's been a lot of back and forth. As you can see, the frizz has gotten to me because I've had to go in and out and we had to wait outside. First, we wait in line to check in where they give us this. Then they give you a wristband as well. After they already gave us the wristband, we came up and they were going to send us in two separate directions because she had this one and we both got the gold one and I didn't get the silver one. So I went down to be like, why didn't I get the silver one? And the girl was just like super dismissive and she was like, some emails get it, some emails don't. And I was like, we have the same exact email. Mm -hmm. After she had spoke to some girls, the girls were like, go downstairs and tell that girl that Michaela and da da da, -da sent you. And then we went down because turns out I was supposed to get the VIP bracelet. And she went down with a little hefty little attitude. She's like, I didn't know you didn't say that. And I was like, we no, did we say did that. say that. Yeah. Little, we we lucky did, you were just dismissive. They gave us a food box. So they gave us um, food and water. Now we're seated and waiting. 
there is like the general audience. Do they I'm here and I'm hopefully going to see Camila. Let's see what's inside. Because usually it comes with like science and dessert. Oh my god. Oh, it comes with mac and cheese only. They downgraded. I'm stressed. <laughs>
your trust issues. Okay. You don't understand my stress. Yeah.